Today we got some of my favorite boxes to open up in 2019. This year I started doing different kinds of mystery boxes. And one of them I started doing was comic book mystery boxes. So I got today, I've got three of their $30 mystery boxes from that Spider-Man booth that we're gonna open up right now. Let's do this. That Spider-Man booth, every, I think it's like Saturday and Wednesday, they release new mystery boxes. And each time there's always kind of like a grand prize that you can get. And sometimes it's very expensive comics. I mean, they've done the Flash number one. They've done, wow, so many of the Spider-Man 300s and, and the Chrome edition. They've done the first appearance of Wolverine. Uh, they did the first Daredevil, which I actually got the first Daredevil grand prize a month ago or so, two months ago, something like that. So there are some big comics that you can get out of these boxes, but the majority of them will just be just, you know, common comic books. I think you get five in each box and uh, the main hits, they actually put price tags on them of what they sell for on the secondary market, which helps trying to figure out prices on things of how well you did. So once you open it up, the mystery boxes look like this. I feel like Peter, who is Spider-Man, that Spider-Man booth. So here we go. Put it right there. The first one on top. That is an ultra cool cover look at that that is neat so this is batman teenage mutant ninja turtles adventures issue number one recover and it said this is worth around 20 dollars for this comic book that one's actually that is a super cool cover on that so next one so we got the Turtles theme right here. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder, issue number one, a recover. This says it's also worth about 20 bucks. So that's really neat. Awesome. Then next, we have Batman Beyond, number 28, The Joker Battles Robin, one last time. This one doesn't have a price sign, so this is probably just going to be just a common comic book, probably like five, ten bucks at the most. Got that one. Next, we have Venom, Marvel, Marvel Legacy number 163. That one's a really cool cover on that one, too. That's some of the nice things about comic books is the covers of them are sometimes the best part of the entire thing is just the cool cover art. That's neat. And then the final one is... Uh, drawing a blank. It says it's worth $80. I think I got the same one from that Spider-Man booth the last time I bought Mystery Box from. I think I got this exact same one, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure I did. And I looked it up, and it is like a $75 comic. So that first box, um, with just this one that's worth about $80, $20, and $20. So just this first box right here. Is going to be roughly about between 120 125 in value give or take some so that's awesome so just that first box i got more value back than what i paid for all three boxes combined so that's fantastic value for that first box we got two more still Let's see go the next one I feel like Peter let me try not to look this time at the at the top one keep it somewhat of a mystery so I still have not seen the top yet last time I, I glanced at the top so this time keep it a mystery for both of us keep them face down so we'll do the top one first I'll show you guys first what it is what we got the new age of heroes the immortal men dc universe number one i don't know much about this one it says it's worth around 15 dollars 
not a huge fan of that cover art on, on that one. That cover art is, I don't know, I, I don't really like it. It doesn't really look comic bookish to me. So let's go to the next one. What we got? Oh, cool. What if Marvel Comics went metal with Ghost Rider? Marvel number one. Parental advisory will melt faces. Okay, this cover on this one, it's different. I, I, I'm, I'm not in love with it, but it's not bad. We got that one. Still a cool cover, but I'm not in love with the cover. Next. What we got? Oh, cool. What if Peter Parker became the Punisher? Huh. What if Spider-Man became the Punisher, pretty much? Marvel number one. Says so this one's worth also worth $15. So far, it's saying each one's worth about $15. So this is Peter Parker becoming the Punisher. And the fourth one. Uh, Luckjaw number three. I don't know much about this comic book. The world will marvel at the awesome might of Spider Ham and Lockjaw. Okay, I don't really know much about this. It says it's worth fifteen dollars. Lockjaw and Spider Ham. Okay, that one's kind of weird. Last one. This was actually a thick one. That's what we got. What we get? Interesting. Transformers Unicorn, IDW issue six or recover. You belong to me. That's yeah, not a bad cover. Yeah, um, this box, none of these covers really wowed me that much. Actually, probably the coolest one was probably with the Peter Parker became the Punisher. So this one, if you go by their values that they put on them, you got 15, 30, 45, 60, $75. If you go by their, their value, which your values are usually are pretty close actually. Their sticker prices are usually very, very close to what they sell for like on eBay. So that one's worth about $75 box. I got it for $30, that's not bad. Last one, number three. Yep. That one's really taped. Box number three. Let's keep that mystery going. So, whenever I pulled out the grand prize of Daredevil number one, that comic was actually bubble wrapped. So, it kind of stinks. I think that if you don't if you don't hit a grail, a grand prize, you know because your top comic is not bubble wrapped. But you still get some good comics out though. First one. Daredevil number 608, Matt Murdock versus Mike Murdock. It's the sibling rivalry of the century. Not a bad cover. Next. Iceman, first issue of a cool new era. Iceman Marvel number one. I don't really know much about Iceman. Not a bad cover. It's okay. It's okay. The first box had the best uh, covers of the comic books. Next. Uh, we've got a 1987 Marvel Spider-Man uh, number... 32, part four, Resurrection. That was actually kind of a neat one. Said it's worth about $15. The cover art on that one is actually really cool. That's actually really cool cover art on this one. I do like that one. That one's neat. And number four in this box. Whoa, that cover is, that's different. The Death of Wolverine, Marvel 404. The cover kind of has a holographic kind of tint to it. Changes colors as you tilt it. it. Says it's worth about 20 bucks. 
And that cover with the effects on it, that's kind of cool. Cool cover. Last one, number five in this box of the final box. The back actually has a sticker on it that says Tyler Kirkham on the back of the sticker. So this might be something maybe a little bit different since none of the other ones had stickers on the back of them. You ready? What we get? The Amazing Spider-Man. So that's worth about 25 bucks. Uh, I'm guessing this is probably like a recover on one of them. That's kind of what it looks like. With the Tyler Kirkham sticker on the back of it, like sealing it. It's never been opened up. It's not signed by the artist, is it? Doesn't look like it. So that was worth about $25. Let's see how much that third box was worth according to their values that they put on them. 25, 45, 60, and then two commons, probably five bucks a piece. So a final box is worth about $70. So, wow, that's really good box actually. So the third box is about $70. Second box was like what? I think like 75, 70. The first box though was the best box I had. That was like, like, like 120, 125, I think it was. So out of all three boxes, it, they're, they're gonna be worth probably about 200 50 to 270 dollars so i did really well i bought all three of these mixture boxes for 30 dollars a piece and i got back i'd say a minimum of 250 in value back so over double my, my money back so i'm very happy with that so the value i got back for these five is fantastic very pleased happy with it so i will be buying more mystery boxes from that spider-man booth and let's see if i get a grand prize grail comic the next time so thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. I'm out.